Hey everyone, so today you are about to watch my makeup collection and storage organization video. I'm really excited to do this. I'm finally happy with how I've got it organized. Even though there's a couple things I want to change, I want to show you before I change it. Uh, there's a few things that I didn't mention in the video or I want to show you a little better before we get started. Also in this video, I use a ton of craft organizing things. Not those drawer units that you see a lot in these videos, but little things from the craft store that you can use to organize. So this is, its main purpose is to hold 4x6 photos. I use it for something else, so if you want to keep watching, you'll see what I use this for. Along with a bunch of other things you can get at the craft store. So it doesn't need to cost you a ton of money because craft organization is always 50% off and there's always coupons that you can use if you sign up online so it doesn't need to cost you a lot of money to organize your makeup. I show you these plastic containers in a drawer <clears throat> but you can't really see them so there's a few different sizes and they stack on top of each other like this. There's this big size there's this smaller size and there's this little square size and they stack on top of each other if you don't put a ton of stuff on it but there's also I have a bigger like a long one in the drawers that you'll see in a second and I just wanted to show you to clarify that they're in different well these little things are in different compartments so they're because some of the stuff is just overflowing in there so it's hard to kind of see so I wanted to show you that also, if you guys want to see this look that I'm currently wearing, let me know and I'll try to do a makeup tutorial on it. It's a pretty fall look that I've come up with and I've been wearing it a lot lately. Uh, so I'd be happy to do some kind of tutorial on it. Other than that, if you have any questions, please let me know. It's a little longer because I do go into in-depth some of my makeup. I tried to edit some of it out. I hope this intro isn't too long, but I hope you enjoy my makeup collection and storage organization video. So let's get started. This is my dresser and I have a caboodle right here. Yes, a caboodle. And it is from Limited 2, as you can see, which is no longer in business, but it is the best way to store makeup, I feel like. This is where I put some of my like everyday stuff in this compartment right here. My eyelash curler, um, a Jack Black lip balm, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, more lip balm, some eyeshadows, random eyeshadows, things like that. Then in this compartment, there's mostly MAC eyeshadows and there's still one right here. Too Faced eyeshadow and I've gotten down to this little Urban Decay Rockstar um, eye, eye pencil. This is also eyeshadows. We have some NARS, a CoverGirl, Bobbi Brown, Bobbi Brown. This is a Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge. Um, some Wet n Wild and some other stuff is in there. So this fits nicely right here. And then when I open it up, these just slide open like this. I have some small eyeshadow palettes from drugstore mostly. This is a Bare Minerals one. Um, some Revlon, Maybelline, L'Oreal. Uh, this Stila one that I love, it has Kitten in it. Kat Von D. But then the majority of this is blushes. I've moved fall blushes, like these darker, extremely darker blushes, to the front. This one I'm obsessed with, Cinnamon Spice. I need to open it for you. Look at it. It's just beautiful. So I have my blushes. In here, MAC are down there. There's some highlighters as well. So that's my caboodle. Then over here, 
I have this little container right here, which was a candle holder from Hobby Lobby. So there's a bunch of people on YouTube that have this, I feel. And I have eyeliners and like chubby stick pencils and liquid liners and a few brushes in here, but mostly eyeliners and eyeliner pencils and things like that are organized in this. Then I have some bigger brushes in this. This was an Eco Tools set, a collaboration with Alicia Silverstone. So I have some Eco Tools brushes, Sony Kashuk brushes, some random brushes in here, but they're bigger. Then I have this one, which is obviously Hello Kitty. And these are Sony Kashuk Eco Tools Target random ones in here. And this is currently the nail polish I'm wearing from Revlon and it's called Naughty. Over here, this is a little container that I kept from a Sony Kashuk set uh, just because it was plaid and it looked nice. So I store some like newer nail polish purchases, some random things that don't fit anywhere. There's some Julie G nail polishes in there. Uh, Hello Kitty things, some Wet n Wild palettes in there, stuff like that. This container I got from Michaels, I believe. I got it on clearance and I just store receipts in there. This is, you can see, I kept this on there, Craft Organizer. So I got it at the craft store, but you see what I have in there. I have pigment eyeshadows, I have MAC paint pots in there, I have MAC extra dimension eyeshadows, the smaller ones, L'Oreal infallible 24 hour eyeshadows in here, which fit perfectly, three like that. Color Tattoo 24 Hour by Maybelline. So those fit nicely in there. I have some Maybelline Color Tattoo Pigments. So this fits awesome for those things. And I love this idea. This thing I don't like. But for right now, I wanted to show you before I switch it. I have random stuff in there. It's just random. This drawer are some palettes, Urban Decay Naked, Too Faced Naked Eye, Too Faced Smashbox, uh, Wet n Wilds, there's another Urban Decay, the Mary Posa palette, which I love. It's hard to do this with one hand. So, some mascaras are there. In the back there, there's just extra Sephora mirrors. When people give you gift cards, what do you do with those mirrors? I don't know. A Revlon foundation. Uh, some more Mercier stuff. Lost a mascara there. A MAC pigment. And that's all for that drawer. This drawer is more stuff here. Some an e.l.f. palette. A shimmer palette, a pixie palette, then these are some bigger palettes down there I can't even get into or I won't be able to shut this drawer. An e.l.f. palette is down there, a bigger one, and I have like a BH Cosmetics or a Crystal Scent, something like that. There's some Wet n Wild palettes back there and some stuff I haven't opened yet, an extra mascara, a couple extra mascaras, and some brushes, uh, NARS gift from Sephora, eyelash curler, and stuff like that. Then this drawer is the big makeup drawer, so get ready. This is a four drawer unit from, you know, Walmart or Target, any place like that. This drawer doesn't have makeup in it. This has sparkle nail polishes. So try to organize it. It's mostly just sparkle nail polishes. But the top drawer, if I can open it. <laughs> okay, top drawer. These are some eyelashes I'll probably never use in my life. Over here we have 
lip glosses from NYX, Bath and Body, Mark, Mac, any place really. So they're and I have them organized into these, if you can see them, these containers right here. And they come out and they stack on top of each other. So there's one down there. So there's random stuff down there too. But they do stack on top of each other. You can get those anywhere really. I got them at Target, I believe. So how they stack right in there very nicely. But I have too much stuff, so it's overflowing and doesn't look very nice. So I have, like I said, all those lip glosses right there. And I have some pencils in here, some NYX jumbo pencils, some antibacterial stuff, some extra mascaras, colored mascaras, some free stuff from Sephora, OCC lip tar, more Mercier stuff. In here I also have underneath all this other stuff another layer of mostly these things which I don't know are if they're discontinued anymore I got them on clearance let's see if you can see one of them these L'Oreal hip things there's two colors in each of them so I have some of those some Victoria's Secret eyeshadows and some random ones under there so you can see that's another container under there and there's some palettes in there another container under there and I'm just dropping stuff everywhere so that's enough of that then over here Mac another lip thing then if you can see over here let's move some lip gloss more eyeshadow and then Laura Mercier, more eyeshadows just from every brand you can imagine. Let's look at it this way. In the back, I have some mascaras. I have more eyeshadows back here. These are from Icing. This is a pigment from Milamasca. Rimmel, didn't even use that, Max Factor, Smashbox, these are just a ton of eyeshadows, cover, some CoverGirl, some Kashuk, Alme, I really have every brand, I don't discriminate at all, I try everything, um, these are some samples, I try to keep it in this little bag here, from Sephora, Ulta, anywhere, this is some more lip products, random lip products, and I just keep it in there. So that's what the drawer looks like. It's about that big. And that's the great majority of the makeup. Okay, now we move on to my lipsticks. And I love this container. This uh, my mom got for me for Christmas one year at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. And it's, as you can see, for all, well, the great majority of my lip products that you didn't just see in that other container. This is pretty much filled to the brim. I have some MAC lipsticks in here, whatever will fit. And this, if I can find the link to this thing, this is all one piece. Looks like that. It's an acrylic thing. This right here also comes out. So if you wanted to you know, use this someplace else for just lipsticks and then use that for, you know, something that didn't need little compartments. That'd be good. MAC, mostly MAC over here. You can see the packaging. Maybelline, Maybelline. There's Tarte, new L'Oreal products, Revlon, Tarte back here, some Smashbox right there. MAC cream sheen glasses, some lip glosses. These are all lip glosses back here, mostly Revlon, and some more Revlon. Buxom, Mark, 
And then these are some drugstore brands, various Revlon, Rimmel, Hard Candy. This is Neon Pink by Bobby Brown. Maybelline. There's some Clinique in there. Wet n Wild. L'Oreal. So this is just an overview of my lipsticks. Okay, now we're in my bathroom. I have a few things in this first drawer here. I do my makeup in the morning. I tend to do my foundation and stuff in the bathroom, which I know is bad because of the lighting, but, and my concealer palettes are here and that kind of stuff is here. There's some lip scrubs, but my concealer, they're all in here. And my Clarisonics here, my hairbrushes, but that's besides the point. Concealers are in here. Then this next drawer is more makeup and it fits perfectly. That's how big it is. These are my face wipes, but in here, this is another trick that I use. It's from Michaels or any craft store really but I believe I got it at Michaels they come in different colors there's a sparkly purple one down here and this is a pink one it's a photo case and I believe it fits four by six a hundred four by six photos but I decided instead I was gonna use it for Revlon lip butters <laughs> so I have ten in here so if you have 10 Revlon lip butters, this is the way to go maybe. I'm sure you could figure out other things to put in here too, but they fit perfectly and these things stack on top of each other very nicely. So I have another one down here that is sparkly purple that I love. And this is also perfect. I think I like this idea better actually for more eye pencils that I don't use as often as the ones that made it on my dresser. So these are like more blues and purples and like funky colors that you won't use every day. And some sparkly ones and white and you know these are ones that you really don't use every day. Just on occasion. So when I want them I just come in here and grab them. And they stack very nicely. So I love this and I think it's a great idea if you want to store some eye pencils. Then this, I believe, is another thing from the craft store. It is a three, it's a stackable thing. It comes as one though. It's snackware and it's perfect for, I have blushes, bronzers, and some wet and wild eyeshadows in here. So let's show you. Snaps open like this. So on top here, I have Wet n Wild eyeshadows, the three pan palettes mostly. I have some six, and they're just stacked on top of one another. Some limited edition ones. So I have those here. This is the smallest of the three, obviously. You can see that. And then just snaps back closed. And so you can carry it like that. Then the next one, just unsnap. Take that off. And then you can, you know, carry that around somewhere. This is my bronzer. I have some MAC, Physician's Formula, Tarte. Another Physicians Formula, Wet n Wild, some highlighters are in here too. Elf, Hard Candy, Sony Kashuk, Sony Kashuk, NYC, Wet n Wild, really everything's in here. Mark, Elf, so one of everything really, blushes and some highlighters. Happy Booster, which actually I really like. I used it again the other day. I forgot about it. Uh, MAC. Stila. Avon. Maybelline. MAC. ELF. Hard Candy. 
some samples, Wet n Wild, Jaffra, Stila, Clinique, that one's awesome. Uh, that's Victoria's Secret. So again, a little of everything. And quickly, I just wanted to show you, this is my medicine cabinet. So that's just an overview if you were wondering where my face wash and moisturizer and foundation and that kind of stuff was. This is above my sink in my bathroom. That is where that kind of stuff is.